This video is about how to do laundry. Uh, sounds pretty boring, so if you don't want to watch this video, I get it, but it's a good skill to learn. Um, first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to separate your dark colored clothes from your light colored clothes. Because if you wash them together, sometimes, you know, your light colored clothes can get dyed different colors, and that's no good. That's not what we want. Also, take out any fragile clothes like wool sweaters or something. They need to be washed in a different way, and we're not going to go over that in this video, but just, yeah, take them out. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load up your laundry into the washer, just what I, like, what I'm doing there. I'm doing a great job. Do what I'm doing. Also, you should make sure that your laundry isn't too full in the washer. Make sure there's enough space for your arm in there. Because if your laundry is too full, then it won't get washed evenly. Next, we're going to add our detergent. So screw off the detergent cap just like that and pour the detergent into the cap. Now, detergent caps are going to have little markers to tell you how much detergent you should use. I usually go with the number three marker because that's about as much detergent as you need for an average load of laundry. So all washing machines are a little bit different, but most will have this compartment here for detergent. Now within this compartment, you'll see three smaller compartments. One is for liquid bleach, one is for fabric softener, and the largest one is for detergent. Don't worry about the other two. Just, just pour in the detergent. You don't really need to worry about those or use those. So just pour your detergent in there. That'll get everything soapy and clean. Perfect. Great work. Now close that up and close the door to the washing machine because otherwise everything's gonna spill out of there. All the clothes and the water and the soap. That's no good, you silly goose. So to turn this on, you're gonna wanna push that in so that the knob will actually turn just like that, perfect. And you're gonna wanna put it, I usually put it in between heavy wash and normal, but use your judgment. If you got a big load of laundry, put it at heavy wash, you know? Once it's where I want it, I pull it out and that is perfect. That'll start the wash. And then about an hour later, you're going to come back and your clothes are going to be all washed up. You're going to want to move them to the drying machine, the dryer. So first you're going to pull out the lint catcher right there. Oh no, no one has cleaned the lint catcher in a while. That's no good. Um, make sure you get all the lint out of there if that happens. Oh, Kaylin, there's that one little piece there. Oh, perfect. Great work, kid. Okay. Now you're gonna bring the lint over to the trash to throw it away, just like that. Oh no, oh, the lint catcher fell on the ground. That was pretty embarrassing. Throw throw away the lint, quick, go pick up the lint catcher. Ugh, my shoes are on the ground, everything's a mess. I'm not setting a good example. Okay, so now you're gonna put the lint catcher back into the dryer, just like that some great work there. You don't need to bang it down like I'm doing. I don't know why I did that. No need. So now you're just going to move your clothes from the washer to the dryer. Pretty simple there. Bam. Great job. Okay. Now this step is optional, but I like to throw in one dryer sheet. Dryer sheets are great because they help to get the wrinkles out of clothes and they also help them to smell just a little bit better. Why wouldn't you want that? So put your dryer sheet in there. It doesn't need to be placed as specifically as I'm placing it here. Again, I don't know why I'm doing that. No need. Now close up your dryer. Now you're gonna move this knob to put it to however long you want your dryer to go for. I usually put it in between white and colors. And also I usually put it on medium heat because if you put it on high heat, sometimes that can damage your clothes. And if you put it on low heat, it'll take a long time for your clothes to dry. Now you're going to turn on your dryer. As you can see, my knob for turning my dryer on is broken and I have to use these pliers to turn on the dryer. Most of you won't have to deal with that or any of you. And if you do, you should ask your family members to help you out. Now I'm going to load up my light wash into the washer so that those can be washed while my other clothes are drying. And again, we're just going to do all the same steps as before. Put the detergent in there. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then turn that. As you can see, I'm turning it a little higher than I had it before because it's a little bit of a bigger load. Great. I don't. Why am I giving a thumbs up for everything? We know you're doing a good job. Okay. Now I'm taking all my clothes out of the dryer. It's about an hour later. They are all dry now. If they're not dry, you can just put them in for a little bit longer. 
And again, I'm taking out the lint catcher and I'm pulling off the lint. Now, do not do what I'm doing here. Do not put your lint catcher on the stove. That is not a smart idea. Don't do it. Now I am going to throw out the lint. And I'm putting the lint catcher back in the dryer. And I'm putting the clothes from the washer into the dryer. It's, it's truly just all the same steps as before. Oh, hot tip. Spin the washer to make sure that you got everything out. All right, and again, close close the dryer. Oh, oh, I forgot the I forgot the dryer sheet. Great work. And turn the knob. Yep, in between whites and color, medium heat. Turning it on with the pliers. That was perfect. And there's a thumbs up. Really unnecessary. Okay, now folding your clean clothes. For pants, you're going to fold them in half so that it looks like there's only one pant leg, just like that. And fold them in half again. And fold them in half again. Yep, in half again. Yep. Okay. It's really that simple. Now, shirts are a little bit more difficult. You're just going to fold the sleeves into the center there, just like that. And then you're going to fold it in half and fold it in half again. Now, as you can see, I did a pretty bad job folding the shirt. And that's because I usually don't fold my shirts because that gets them all wrinkly. And also it's just really difficult. So usually I put my shirts on hangers instead. Um, and so if you have hangers, I would suggest doing that. But if not, folding's great. Thanks for watching the video.